Research is being undertaken to determine the practicality of recycling used car tyres in a project that should help the environment, as well as improve the nation's roadways. The announcement was made by the Chief Executive Officer of the Caribbean Industrial Research Institute, Kariri, Hans-Erik Schultz, at the opening of the pilot project at the UTT campus in Taruba, San Fernando. You may or may not know Trinidad generates 1.5 million used tyres uh, that is dis disposed of every year and uh, utilization of plants like these could help us utilize those uh, discarded tires for reuse in the rubber crumbs back into asphalt mix design, so road paving, for mats, for linings and other applications. So this pilot plant is testing that technical and business feasibility of utilization of these rubber crumbs in that way. Mr. Schultz pointed out that the initiative will be tested to find out how durable the substance would be for road paving. Later today, we will be paving a strip up at the Tunapuno Piaka Regional Corporation, where we'll be paved a test strip using your rubber crumbs and the standard strip using standard mix design. And over the next year, we will be testing and uh, monitoring it to see about durability and all the um, feasibility of how well it holds up to weather, and traffic conditions, and so on. The idea, of course, is to generate hard data that, that could then be utilized for any decision making in its use in road paving. Mr. Schultz also touched on the effect the alternative to disposing the used tires would have on the environment. They end up in the landfills, and of course, they, they can be parts for disease and you know mosquito breeding and so on. So obviously, if there's a channel through which these used and disposed tires can be now utilized in an active and positive economic way, it can only be positive. Minister of Planning and Development Penelope Beckles Robinson highlighted other spin off effects that the pilot project could have on the economy. All my colleagues are aware Minister of Works, Minister of Agriculture, we have somebody as well from the Ministry of Local Government, and we also intend to engage SWIMPAR. So that yes, they would, but the important thing is research because at the end of the day, we do want to give them a product that we can say to you, we have taken a year, we have done the test. Uh, notwithstanding the fact that it's utilized in many other countries in the world, of course it's always important to, to do the test in your own country. President of the University of Trinidad and Tobago, Prakash Pasad, emphasized that the university wants to fulfill the mandate of the institution. He noted that UTT was set up in 2004 to facilitate research that would eventually lead to economic development and diversification. And this is exactly what we're doing here. So we're working with Kareem. We're going to actually our MSc students in entrepreneurship and manufacturing will be doing the sort of commercial evaluation of the products, etc. And looking at taking it out. The plan we have is to take such plants to the various communities. So, you know, they, they won't have this backlog of tires coming from everywhere, but each community can get rid of their tires. Mr. Passard indicated that employment as well as other opportunities would be some of the benefits expected from the collaborative approach.